All right, welcome everyone. And it's great to see new friends and very dear old friends to our Keeping Badging Weird. So I'm glad that this attracted everyone today to the Badge Summit. So um, Mark and I at Participate um, reached out to Doug and Laura and vice versa around thinking about a learning experience around, um, around badging. So there's lots of conversations. We've all been working on this for, I feel like forever, um, but new people keep flowing in. And we at Participate have been focused on building and supporting communities of practice. So our current focus is really diving into kind of open recognition and recognition of each other and understanding how communities of practice work and how badges could kind of play a role in that. And so some of that was self-serving to work with Doug and Laura to really think about like, how could we design learning experiences that engage a much larger community around um, badging digital credentials, um, eliciting the help of, of old friends like Carrie and Cheryl and others and helping us really think about this stuff and moving this work sort of forward. And so that's why we started this project. And then Badge Summit, we had all planned on coming anyway. And we thought that this would be a really fun way to launch an open learning experience that we would just start here to play around and um, mostly also just to get all of your feedback and really kind of understand where people are coming from and what their interest is in badging, what, um, what you hope to achieve with them, um, and really kind of develop our own little community of practice right here, even um, within, within the badging community. So um, that's sort of our, our impetus for, for bringing you all here to our little breakout session. Doug, Laura, anyone want to add? Oh, I was going to share a screen. Right? <laughs> Not even yeah, you definitely do that. And you know, you're very welcome to mute and face mute at any point if you want to, and, not, and also unface mute and unmute at any time <laughs> um, as well if you've got any questions. There's no stupid questions, just ask stupid answers, as I always say. So yeah, so basically I talked through this slide already. So um, is it, Doug, is there anything, or Laura, anything else on this, Mark, anything here around what we're sort of what our focus has been with with the keeping badges weird community well i think the main thing is that we're what we're trying to do we're, we'll talk about this in a moment but talk about kind of where badges came from we can't go through the whole history lots of you already know this but especially what we're trying to do is to think about the overlap between open badges digital credentials micro credentials whatever you want to call them today um, and communities of practice and I, I think that lots of people will be quite familiar with one of those but potentially not with both. And the overlap of them is particularly interesting for Participate and, and We Are Open. Laura, you want to introduce yourself? We Are Open. Mark, any other words about who we are? And then I'll move off this slide pretty quickly. So, sure. So I'm going to introduce myself. I am Laura Hilliger from We Are Open, but I'm actually not going to introduce We Are Open. I'm going to introduce Participate because that's what Mark told me to do about <laughs> 10 minutes ago. Um, so for those of you who have not experienced the super awesomeness that is Participate, uh, they are an organization that are really um, looking at how online learning and one of my personal passions, online communities, join up. Um, so they, they have a platform, but they also work with teachers, educators more broadly, nonprofits, a whole spectrum of different kinds of organizations to build the kinds of spaces that brought me into the ed tech community over a decade ago, I'm showing my age. Um, and they've been a joy to work with. Uh, we Are Open has been working with Participate for a number of years, and um, we're we, I am very excited to be part of this Keep Badges Weird project because uh, it feels like a good time to kind of play around with some of the more in innovative ways that we can think about badging um, now that badging has kind of gotten mainstream. And I'll pass it to Mark. Why, thank you. And um, I'm just going to change my mind. I'm just going to do participate again. <laughs> Just kidding, of course. Um, as Laura mentioned, you know, our two organizations, We Are Open Participate, um, have been um, 
you know, around and working together. But uh, it's just been recently that we've had the opportunity to collaborate really deeply with We Are Open. And, and Julie and I were talking about this yesterday. It's just absolutely a joy, this organization to work with. And so um, if you are looking for a group of people that A, do amazing work, and then B, um, are just a blast to work with, I think we have more fun on those meetings than we do pretty much anything all week long. So um, helping organizations make tr digital transformations, um, some of the smartest people we've ever worked with. And then when it comes to uh, badges, there's really no one uh, better. And then uh, when it comes to like illustrating those, Brian, amazing. And so uh, fantastic, talented group of uh, individuals. All right. Thank you, Mark. So what we're going to do today is we're going to introduce you to kind of uh, what participate call and what we're starting to call LXP, so learning experiences. Um, and we're trying to do something a bit different. So keeping badges weird. Now, I could give you a lot of kind of academic background to this, dive into the deep history of badges and digital credentials. But instead of doing that, instead of um, going into all of that, so we can you know go through that another time, um, we've used that experience to build um, an LXP which we think will help people understand badges and communities of practice and how the two intersect. And we've done that in a community which we call Keep Badges Weird. Now, um, we're gonna let you loose in this community in a moment. Um, you're going to be the very first people other than people who work for We Are Open or participate to go into there. Um, and hopefully you can give us feedback as to how you find that. So let me just talk you through a couple of things to begin with. Um, in fact, Laura's gonna talk you through the LXP in a moment but I'm gonna talk you through Brian's badges. Um, Brian, as Mark said, is a very talented illustrator, but more than that, Brian has um, a deep understanding, not only of how to represent ideas visually, but all of the abstract ideas behind that, having a background in computer science and having built and sold two companies. So these badges, the kinds of ones that you can earn in the Keep Badges Weird community, um, and we hope that they, these not only stimulate discussion, but they also represent you at a distance on social media, um, wherever you want to represent this. And as you can see, it kind of reflects um, Participate's logo, but also has this kind of whimsy and, and slightly different from the, the, the official Participate style guide, as it were. So the very first one, which we're hoping that you'll learn today, is the one Hello. in the center oh. at the bottom, which oh, is the key. Badge is weird badge. So the, the badge at the bottom in the middle, the Keep Badges Weird badge, that's the, gonna be the first one that you earn. Some of the rest of them go through, as Law is about to show, in kind of a slightly linear fashion, but other ones are ones that you can dip in and out of. So I'll hand it over to Laura to go through the, the learning experience. So as Julie mentioned at the beginning of our breakout session here, um, what we're trying to do is talk about the intersection of open badges and communities of practice. Um, and so it's it's sort of meta uh, when you start thinking about this, but what we're doing with this community is we have a community of practice that is focused on learning the, the sort of academics and theoretical um, frameworks and insights around a community of practice, as well as open badges. So it's kind of a... Pfft, um, sort of thing. So we broke the learning into two separate parts on the, I guess it's left, my left. There's community as collaboration. So this is participation in the Keep Badges Weird community. Um, and as you are just being an everyday community mem member, you're going to be doing things that are actually um, earning you badges around the theory and the practice of communities of practice. So as you join the community, when you introduce yourself, when you interact with other people, you're actually doing something that's creating value for other people, um, which is part of what a community of practice does at a theoretical level. So you're, as you do those things, you're able to earn badges um, that shows that you understand how you're creating value within a community. Um, and then there's a, a secondary part that's sort of the more theoretical part where you can self-study to learn what are those values, value cycles in a community of practice? What does that actually mean? What does it mean to be in cycle one or cycle two? How do they mingle together? Um, and there's a, um, another component of that earning is learning, which is about self-study. Um, 
and or sorry, self-study about badges, which uh, a lot of you in this room uh, probably know a lot of the, the basics that are there, but you can actually earn a badge um, just showing that you understand what that what open badges are, what it actually means um, to award badges. And there's also a designing badge component. So if you've never made a badge before, you can learn that in this community as well. Um, and part of what we're doing uh, with both of these things is trying to push people to the edge of this community, but also make a leap into other communities because where the value cycles really come into play uh, is where there's crossover between different communities. So that's kind of complicated to look at really quickly, um, but this, this graphic becomes quite simple and clear when you get into the community yourself, um, which is what we're gonna do next. Can I take over from you? I can. You can, but I also, Doug, I know you wanted to do a little activity. It'd be great to know who's here. We have a small enough group. Did you want to start that first in the chat? Did you want to do that? Or you want to do that? Yeah, we could do, or we could just get straight in and let people introduce themselves. Themselves in the discussion. That'd be great. Okay. All right. I will stop sharing and go ahead, Laura. So if one of my co-facilitators would be kind enough to put the link into the Zoom chat. I did. Does everybody see, see that? It. Did everybody see yeah, the? You can see it. Yeah, yeah. you're good. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't cool. Know so people are coming in. So when you go to the link, you're going to enter the community, and um, in the upper left-hand corner, there's a join community button. Um, but you can also click on the get started by introducing yourself button, and when you do that, it's going to ask you to log in or sign up. So if you've been in other participate communities, you probably already have an account. Um, but even if you uh, don't, if you just click the login, you can log in with a social. Um, so that's pretty quick and easy. Um, so what we were gonna do today is essentially get you to create an account and then dive into the community. And uh, we're here to ask questions. Um, and where's my other tab? And we wanted to get you to earn that very first Keep Badges Weird badge, which is very cool looking. Thank you, Brian. Um, by simply introducing yourself in the community, tell us why you're here, maybe a little bit of a weird tidbit. Um, you're very welcome to have some fun with your introduction, but you just write it in here and then we will get to know who is in the room. And then once you've done that, you're very welcome to have a look around and see what else is here. Um, and then we'll have some time at the end. It's quite a short session today, but um, we'll have some time for some Q&A. Some of you um, who have been around the Badges space for ages might want to kind of talk more at a meta level, like um, Laura was talking about before. Some of you who are new to Badges might want to talk about the basics of Badges. All and any and all questions are, are welcome here. So um, yeah, why don't you why don't you get started? Do what Laura's just shown, um, and we can we can troubleshoot as as and when you go along. That sounds great. And then, you know, for those who, you know, if you don't want to sign up or give us, it's totally fine too. You can also just explore the community without joining and you can introduce yourself in the chat. So I just want to give everyone the option of doing whatever you want. <laughs> um, so, but, it, and I'm just curious, just thoughts here. We'll just pause. And as you are like working on stuff, um, just some thoughts about if anybody wants to chat or we can just go silent for a couple minutes. Any questions so far? Just one little clarification from, from me, just on this screen that you're on. Uh, if you haven't signed in to participate before- Do the you'll sign need, up. You'll yeah, need to click to... sign up as opposed yes. to log in. Yes. Um, and then I've was, I was just signed up with Twitter and it was dead easy, so. Okay, yeah, just make sure you are on sign up if you are new to us. And again, if you just want to go back to the prior um, link that Doug and I shared, um, you can just have a poke around. But we're curious. Um, yeah, and uh, I don't know, Flora, if you want to go back um, to yep. see the. Yeah, so, so, yeah. Yeah, so even if you're not a member of the community or if you don't want to create an account and log in, you can still see the kinds of things that um, yeah. that you can learn in the community. So we have a couple of courses that were the earning is learning part of the learning experience. Um, the badge curious is kind of like, it's not exactly badges 101, it's like badges 102 and 103 as well. 
Um, and then the, the communities of practice curious really gets into uh, deepening your knowledge around communities of practice. So there's a lot of good content there. If you've never built a badge before, this is a great place to learn what do you put in a badge? How do you actually award a badge to someone? So there's content there as well. Um, and then under the, the resources, um, there's more ways to get started. There's more ways to interact. And there are ways that you can actually immediately um, enact some of those value cycles that are part of a community of practice and earn badges along the way. So the community has lots of content. Um, and as we said at the beginning, you guys are the first people to see this. So we would love for you to have a poke around and just tell us all the things that are broken um, and all of your <laughs> thoughts about them. You guys are, well, there's a lot of experts here around badging and we would really love to just have your candid feedback.